In this video, I'm going to explain how to account for or how to estimate wire termination or wire termination labor using PlanSwift. Now you can see I have a single line diagram open on my screen. And on the right, I have the product catalog populated or opened up here. So I'm going to, I'm going to drill down into product 8000. I'm going to go down to circuit breaker, or it's actually wire termination labor. It's next to circuit breaker here. 11015 is circuit breaker, and um, below that, 11015A is wire termination labor. And I'm going to just click on that and open the file. Click the little plus sign. Now, these are the different sizes of wire. So what I do is I find out what size I want to account for here, and then I go digitize and count them. Now let me just explain, there's a lot of instances in estimating or actually doing electrical work where you have to account for this. Now one of the places that you should do it is when you're terminating panels. In this instance we see that the, the uh, there's a, th this is a single line showing a circuit breaker here, the feeder run here in a single line form, and it shows the panel. Well, what it, it doesn't tell you that you need to terminate uh, panels, uh, wires in the panel here, but you do, right? So I'm going to, so this one says four, three aught and one number six ground. That's a two inch. This one says four number one and one number eight in an inch and a half and four, three aught again. So I'm going to go count all the four, uh, the three aughts at one time across here. And then I'll just move on and count the rest of them. Now let me show you. So I'm going to go over here and click on find three aught uh, wire termination. Right here, I'll click green to digitize. I have to select my section here. I'm just going to click OK. I'm not putting these in a section. This is for just demonstration. So there's four three out here. I'm just going to click four times near this panel. One, two, three, four. That accounts for four terminations for three out. I'm going to go over here. There's four more here. Count. I'll just click here four times on the screen to account for them. Now I'm going to stop digitizing. I'll right click and just stop. Next, I want to do the ground wire here. It says it's an it's a it's a number six ground. So I'm going to go here, find the number six wire, click the green, digitize. Oop, you got to select a section first. I'm just going to click OK, and then I'm going to put the ground wire in here too, or, or account for it, I should say. So I'll click here. There's a number six ground. Click here. There's a number six ground there. Now I'm going to stop digitizing again. And this one, this con, this shows that it's four number ones and one number eight. So I'll go over here, select number one wire, digitize, select my, I would, uh, normally I'd select the folder here or, or section, but I'm just going to click, uh, click OK. And again, click here. It's four number one. So I set it up for, to digitize for number one. One, two, three, four, and then one, uh, number eight ground. So we'll go click on that. Again, digitize and count the number eight. I don't think I got digitized there. Let me see. There we go. And then account for the number eight termination. Now, of course, when you are completed with this, you would export these items to Red Rhino, and Red Rhino would display the labor for each of these items. Let me show you a couple more examples. Before I move on, another example is this ground right here. You know, um, it's, it says that it's a three-quarter conduit with one number two watt. Now, I'm not going to input this, but this, this uh, two watt has to be terminated at two ends, right? One in the service or panel and one at the ground rod. So I would, I would include that also. Again, it's important to account for that labor because it really adds up uh, if you leave it out. It actually adds up if you count it or not, but you don't want to leave it out because it takes time. Now I'll move on to another example. Okay, here's a different set of blueprints. Same thing, I would be counting wire termination labor here to capture the labor for that. But I want to uh, just make a note of, of this. I won't show how again, because I already did, but like this panel would require wire termination, right? This one also, and this one. Now here's what I want to point out um, before I go on. Also the ground, right? The grounds would require wire termination. But here's what I want to point out on this drawing. Um, notice this is a 400 amp panel. See the circuit breaker up here, 400 amp, 
And so it has two three and a half inch, right? Parallel three and a half inch with four five hundreds. So, and then uh, one number one on. So in this case, you'd have to count all eight wire terminations for the eight total um, uh, 500 MCM wires. Let me just do that right now. I'm going to go down here and go to 500 MCM and digitize and select my section here. And so again, this panel would need eight wire terminations of 500. Again, just click on the, on the, uh, 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 the drawing here anywhere. Since there's so many, I'll just click below. So you're going to do it eight times. There's four and then four more. And then I would do the ground wire next, which is a one aught. And it, it would require two of them, right? So let me go up here to the one aught, digitize. Again, oops, didn't take. Here we go. Select your section, click OK, and again, two more for the ground there. Okay, so that's another example. Another place that you might, or other places that you might use wire termination labor or need it is um, in terminal strips. If you're doing controls jobs where you have to wire up lots of control wires to wire termination strips, you would go up here and select maybe the smallest wire they have in here, which is number 14 for control wires. Okay, let me show another example. Okay, here's another example uh, for wire terminations here. Now, uh, again, I'm not paying attention uh, to whether or not these are existing panels or not. Of course, if they were existing panels and you, it wasn't in your scope, of course, you wouldn't count it. And I'm not paying attention to that so much as showing you uh, how to look for and find where wire terminations are necessary. So look at here. This one shows a 200 amp circuit breaker with a feeder to a panel. And again, this panel is it, it's obviously main lug only. It doesn't have a circuit breaker here. So you would count wire terminations. Here's another one. Um, this panel feeds two different transformers. See that? It shows a circuit breaker in the panel, but the transformers would need wire termination labor. Now, there's more to it than that. You'd actually want to go add lugs um, for that for that uh, transformer also, because lugs don't come with transformers. Different subject. But my point is, um, you'd, you'd, uh, you would digitize over here for the right size wire terminations for those transformers. Okay, line and load side, right, plus the ground. Now, here's an example of what I was talking about. Here's some panels that have uh, have main circuit breakers. So if I was taking this off, I'd go add those under circuit breakers termination as opposed to wire termination. Okay, that's my last example. I think you get the point. So uh, that's it. Just uh, call us if you have questions ever.